power goes out, you get generators. And the power never goes out for very long. We also have these things called universal power supplies, which means essential equipment such as incubators, ventilators, analyzers will not will not turn themselves off if there's a power cut. We can get our supplies. We don't run out of things like gloves, gowns, reagents, medicines, because we get regular deliveries because we are a functioning hospital. I am able to go to work every day and sleep in my home at night without fear for my life. These are basic things that we are able to take for granted here in Cardiff. Now I'm going to talk about another hospital, very, very similar to the Heath, big city hospital, city roughly this size. Um, but this hospital is in a place called Sloviansk. Sloviansk is in the Donbass region of Ukraine. They are about 30 miles from Bakhmut, and unlike the Heath, they do not have a decent power supply. Their electricity cuts out regularly. And intermittent power cuts, most generators can deal with, but if you haven't had electricity supply for months, your job has suddenly got a lot harder. It is incredibly difficult to get the supplies to this hospital on account of the fact that it's 30 miles from the front line. The roads in and out of Bakhmut are regularly shelled, no, in and out of Sloviansk, sorry, are regularly shelled, as is the city itself. Sloviansk has definitely been targeted within the last week. Civilians and civilian infrastructure has been targeted in Sloviansk since I last stood here in the middle of Cardiff a week ago. So the staff pretty much live at the hospital. And because they are so close to the front line, it is imperative that they continue operating as a hospital because despite the lack of electricity and the lack of supplies, they are definitely still getting patients. They are getting the wounded from the front line. The front line that is forever changing and moving towards that hospital, that city, inch by inch. To put it in perspective, that's like us at the Heath operating without supplies, without electricity, trying to hold back an invading force on the other side of Newport. That is what they are managing to do. How they manage to do it, I am astounded. The doctors, the nurses, the lab staff, everybody who is required to make a hospital function as a hospital, keep the patients alive, keep these people moving, keep these people surviving. And the people they are helping are those who defend them. Those who dropped everything and decided to join the army when their country was invaded. People perhaps with no experience, people who did not expect to be tre treading on landmines a year ago, but now find themselves in a situation where their foot's fallen off. And they are doing it all with no electricity and very little supplies. Now, this is very dark, I will admit, but I am going to provide some good news. The good news is, we are actively helping them. We have been fundraising for things such as generators and medical supplies, gloves, gowns, the basic things that I can just go to a cupboard and find at work. I'm not getting them from work for the record, we are buying them, not stealing them from the NHS. And we have been able to send them to Ukraine, to this hospital that is doing so much to keep their people alive and their defenders alive and doing everything they can in an impossible situation. And me personally, as a healthcare worker in another country, in a very privileged position, I am absolutely astounded by what these guys manage. It is an absolute miracle that this hospital is still functioning as a hospital, but it's because they have no other choice. I've worked through COVID but I am eternally grateful I've never had to work in a hospital in a war zone, but these guys are doing it and they are doing it, they are making a difference. The goods that we are sending are making a difference. They are helping to keep people alive and if the defenders are kept alive, then they can go back and fight again and again and again. We don't want them to have to fight again and again, 
but at the moment that's the only thing that is standing between them being able to live a perfectly normal life or being invaded by a country that does not allow you to have free speech, is, has homophobic policies and just the act of standing in the street and expressing your opinion could get you arrested. And oh no, no, I'm eternally grateful that I live in this country. So, for the defenders of Ukraine, the defenders of freedom, the healthcare workers who do everything in their power to keep them and the civilians in the affected parts of Ukraine alive, and to those in Cardiff who have donated and keep donating, and we are eternally grateful for the continued support we have been getting from the people of Cardiff. So, to the people of Cardiff, the Akhenvara, and to the people of Ukraine, Slava Ukraini!